Hi guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be looking at the Arctic Freezer 13. This is a very good budget-friendly cooler that supports none of every single Intel and AMD CPU out there today. So first off, we're going to be looking at the actual cooler, and yeah, we're going to kind of show you the product. And after that, yeah, we're going to be mounting it to a CPU, and then I'm going to be showing you how it performs versus, say, a stock Intel cooler. So first of all, as you can see, the cooler is one of the smaller coolers. It measures in at 132mm in length, 96mm in width, and 130mm in height. The cooler weighs 690 grams. Now the fan comes with a sleeve cable, so you cannot see any of the multiple cables. And to be honest, a lot of people really don't like that, so it's good that you get a sleeve cable with this cooler. Or this fan, shall I say. You also get some thermal paste. This is also pre-applied, so you don't need to worry if you're actually applying the right amount. So say if you're new, work, uh, new to computers or it's your first time installing the cooler, you don't need to worry about that, so that's all good. While talking about thermal paste and the fan's cable, we can mention the fan itself. So the cooler is equipped with a plain white fluid dynamic bearing 92mm cooling fan that's controlled via PWM. For you guys that don't know, PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation, um, mod modulation sorry. and in simple terms it just allows your motherboard to control the fan speeds based on the temperature of, of your actual processor's cores, and actually allows more accuracy um, while actually pull pulling less electric from the motherboard itself. Now the speeds the fan supports is between 600 and 2000 RPM, so it's very good if you want to silent PC for when you're not particularly gaming or doing any CPU heavy tasks. Now onto the heatsink. Uh, the heatsink itself has four 6mm copper heat pipes that are led to the top of the aluminium fin stack. Now all the heat pipes are in contact with the copper plate at the bottom and will touch the CPU surface to provide a better cooling performance. Mounting the cooler was a joy and to be honest it's relatively easy uh, when comparing this to something like a Hyper 212 EVO that I actually use personally in my own gaming machine. Now I only mounted the cooler using the AMD kind of mounting hardware because I have an AMD chip, but I can say looking at the instructions for the AMD mounting, that kind of looks simpler, so yeah, if you have an AMD chip that should be even simpler than what you're going to be seeing in this video. To mount the cooler to an Intel chip you use a plastic mounting plate, with this you place four push pins through the plate and then you push this into the motherboard. So once you've done that you want to be pushing another four push pins, these are the black ones, through the existing ones and that will secure the full thing to the motherboard. Nice and easy, and I'm also that it will be incredibly easy to take this out in the future. Now, once you've done this, what you want to do is place the uh, cooler onto your CPU and then fasten it down onto the mounting plate with the two long screws included. Finally, once you have done this, you can reattach the fan by pressing it onto the cooler. Pretty self explanatory. Once that fan's on, yeah, you should kind of all be good to go, but don't forget to actually plug the fan into the motherboard. Now onto the temperatures, I think, you know, the cooler did do fairly well, and um, yeah, considering its price, um, it's pretty good to be honest. Now under load with the Freezer 13, I was able to get my uh, Intel Core i5-330, I kind of kept it under about 52 degrees, this was using the normal PWM settings on the motherboard, so yeah, 52 degrees, and when comparing this with a stock uh, Intel cooler on my CPU, um, it works out to be about 10 degrees cooler. Um, because I kind of do remember that my chip was running at 62 degrees um, even before I was using my Hyper 2 Evo. So yeah, the Freezer 13 is 10 degrees cooler, which is all good. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and yeah, checking out my review on the Freezer 13. Feel free to like, comment and also subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.